Welcome to the Trail Manners Podcast. This is episode number 24. This show is part of our Buffalo Run race collection. We're going to be talking with Amy Musgrove, who came down from Great Falls, Montana, to compete in her first 50-mile trail race, which she finished in 11 hours and 18 minutes. We want to thank Amy for spending some time with us. So without further ado, let's get into our show. Okay, welcome back to another special episode of the Trail Manners Podcast. We are still on Antelope Island at the Buffalo Run. It is the witching hour, folks. It is the witching hour. It's like you better get a move on if, if you want to get your groove done, on, right? You better get across the finish line, You got to get here because it's getting close. You better dig deep and run. So we, like we've mentioned, we've had a few great shows today already, um, but we this are just- show number four, right? Yeah, we're just recording like crazy. We got some great guests. We've got a new guest, and this one is going to be tricky. Yeah, I know, right? This is a, a major... Okay, so Lane and Debbie Farka are absolute rock stars, friends of the show. Friends of ours. Big time. And you know what? I'm pretty sure they're kind of obsessed with the show. They're kind of fanboys and girls, right? <laughs> oh. I mean, I'm going to throw that out there, and, and I, don't, I know they won't deny that. Um, but they, uh, yeah, they do have a friend. They sent um, a friend over here. They sent a friend to us. They and bribed us with some beer. We've got some Montana Man Scotch Ale. It has yep. like the Front Brewing Company, TFBC. I'm guessing that stands for the Front Brewing Company. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> now, folks, the whole pop top on this can comes <laughs> off. It turns into like a cup, right? Yeah, essentially, yeah. Yeah. Like, that was pretty novel. That I mean, is. We both kind of. Giggled, giggled. Yeah, we giggled like yeah. little girls. And it's, I think, because it's legal to do this and do anything you want in Montana. But our guest today, first 50 miler, again, right. was another first 50, Amy Musgrove. Did Hi. I nail that? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Nailed it. Awesome. That's tough, right? Because cause the, the, the caveat here is we've never spoken to you. Yeah. Never met you. Nope. I've seen a picture of you on Facebook right. yep. or Instagram or something like that. Yeah, yep. one of those social media sites. So you're from, where are you from? I grew up in Layton. And live Utah. in Montana, yeah. Okay, Leighton, Leighton, Utah. Leighton, Utah. Now live in Great Falls, Montana. What you up there? What took you from Leighton to Great Falls? Uh, my husband was active duty Air Force. Okay. So through traveling around, we just kind of ended up there, and we'll be there for good now. Nice. Well, for I good. thought you were going to say yeah. these right pop top cans like took you to Montana. <laughs> yeah, we love it. The outdoors is amazing there. The only downfall, like when I come back to visit here, the mountains and the trails are so close and so accessible. Here. Here. Right. Yeah. Because my folks live here still, so when I come back to visit, you know, it's easy to access, you know, get on the trails. But in Montana, we have to drive a little bit because we don't live. What's a little bit? Like 20? an hour. What? Oh, wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, suck. I wouldn't live there. So but we have some closer trails. You know, the Missouri River runs right through our town. So river there's runs some, through it. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Brad Pitt was good in that movie, <laughs> by was. the way, <laughs> folks. <laughs> you have to admit it. Come on now. So there are some trails, but it's just not, like, if you want to get some vert, you want to get in the mountains, you just have to travel for that. Gotcha. So what brought you to this race, your first 50 in yeah. Utah? So like you mentioned, Debbie and uh, Lane are good friends of mine. And when I asked her, hey, what would be a good first 50-mile run? She recommended <laughs> this one. And I would agree it was a good run. It, there were a couple things that I like a little differently. But, uh, like, this one is so exposed. I like being with trees and shade and just yeah. a variety. So that's a little bit different, but it wasn't horrible. It wasn't super hot, so it wasn't unbearable. Right. So, you, so being in Montana, did you guys have a big snow year? No, it's been a really mild winter. So you've been able to get out on the trails and train yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, well, or you've yeah. been running most of your, your training runs on the treadmill. Some on the treadmill, and that sucks. I hate the treadmill. <laughs> right. But the only, the only reason I ask you that because Debbie might have spilled the beans a little bit about your training. Uh oh. Sure. I wasn't involved I in that conversation. Well, well. <laughs> this must be a bomber athlete conversation. Oh, so, it totally is. <laughs> so yeah, we were outside, and then when the snow comes and it gets muddy, we just you can't run outside in that. You yeah. know, you, the mud gets kicked on your shoes. Yes, you can. You can. There. Come on now. See, I'm not hardcore enough. You guys have to. T I need to listen to all of your podcasts and. And That's and true. Learn the ways well, besides that, yeah. <laughs> and Joel, and Joel's over there right now, killing a PB and J. We've way. been, we've been, <laughs> honest, we've been drinking all afternoon, <laughs> and I need something in my stomach right now <laughs> because this, like, we had that freaking nine point beer beforehand. Yeah. Now we got this Montana 
like mountain man. This one's I'm not gonna man. lie. This one scares me a little bit. The uh, the face on I'm gonna put a photo on there, but the face honestly reminds me of Chris Lundberg who was here today. Yeah. For the 25k. To me, it looks like the Big Lebowski. <laughs> the Big Lebowski, the <laughs> dude. Turn me down, yeah. right? <laughs> it does. So it's kind of intimidating. But anyways, uh, I need some I need some food right now. So the PB, it's a go to PB yeah. and J, just like a trail. I'm just my like boys, a race. PB and J right now. <laughs> I wouldn't normally do this. It's just like an ultra run. But it's You're an at the aid station. Measures. Exactly yeah. right. I've got a funny story about this beer. I'm ready. By the way, we you know, you said it. almost anything's legal in Montana. Um, we picked this up on the w- the road trip here yesterday. We stopped at a gas station. We didn't know what time it was. It was still pretty early, um, before 8 o'clock, and apparently it's illegal to buy beer before 8 o'clock. What, so we're talking 8 a.m., right? 8 a.m., Okay. right? Okay. So it's like six minutes to go, and the clerk wouldn't sell it to us. Wow. <laughs> what would you guys do? Waited we went six to the minutes. next town. We went oh. to the next oh, town. Okay. We're like, all right, we'll just buy it somewhere else. Yeah, nice. so you're so up there at the funny. counter, just kind of twiddling your thumb, <laughs> waiting, yeah. six just minutes, waiting, checking at your phone, <laughs> refresh, right. refresh, refresh, refresh. Right. Well, we were joking about it, like, gosh, I really got to get this problem under, you know, under control. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. one in line had a sense of humor, and the clerk clearly did not have a sense of humor. <laughs> they didn't appreciate your need to buy this beer. No. Before <laughs> 8 should, if you start shaking like uncontrollably, <laughs> they might have just given it to you. That's come right. on, man, come on, give me this. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> it's pretty funny. All right, so you're here yep. in Antelope Island. Yep. First ultra, right? Right. So tell us your story. How was it? It was great. I felt really strong and didn't hit any real low points. Holy cow, that's awesome. That is yeah. really good. Right? I've been I mean, a low point today and I haven't even <laughs> run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, overall it was really good, and I'm glad I made the cutoff time. I was didn't really know what to expect because I hadn't run out here before. And so what was your finish time? Do you know? About 11.20. That's, that's awesome. That's great. That's yeah. great for yeah. your first 50. That is yeah. great. Yeah, I was stoked. I, I did the Skyline 50K last summer. Oh, oh here. we didn't know that. Yeah, here in Utah? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice That's race. a hard course. That that's is. a hard course. That's really hard. Right? <laughs> right? So my time was like 8.45. At the 50K. For the 50K. Mm-hmm. That's so good time. So as I'm looking at my time for this, I'm like, I'm doing pretty good, like, you I'm know? Like, I'm calling butt. <laughs> I'm, I'm, this is easy. It's a lot Smoking easier than that one, yeah. So what was your running background before you got into to ultras? Um, it's interesting. Like in high school, I, I say that I was the fat kid that couldn't even run a mile and a half. Right. You know, I struggled. And literally, I never completed that gym assignment in mm-hmm. PE. I never could run the mile and a half. And I just thought that I was... That presidential fitness test. Yeah. 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 I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> so I just thought I was doomed to, to not be a run. I mean, no, at that age, you're not thinking, oh, am I going to be a runner or not? You know, I just wanted to not be the last one to finish. So... Um, from there, went on, married my husband, who was in the Air Force, and of course, physical fitness, they have to do all the testing, and so I was really inspired by him and started running, you know, my first goal was like a three-mile run. I'm like, if I can do a three-mile run, that's amazing, you know? So that's a gateway drug. That's me and Joel's yeah. goal tomorrow. <laughs> it is. You should go do it right now. <laughs> oh, I'm, sh- good. I'm no. good. I'm <laughs> good. I don't have the proper attire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I just kind of built up, you know, I, I had my son about nine years ago and started getting into fitness after he was born. So I started teaching some group fitness classes and just started running little bits here and there, pushing the, the jogging stroller with the kid and um, trained for a half marathon. And at that point, I thought, well, I'm already like halfway through marathon training. I might as well just keep going, <laughs> just right? Just keep going. It's natural, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I hit some really hard times during that training for my first marathon, but did it and have done a couple marathons. And, you know, Debbie being my best friend, she's super inspirational. And I just see all the cool stuff she does. I'm like, I want to be just like you when I grow up. So mm-hmm. They're, they're inspirational, know? but enablers too, totally. right? So, I mean, there's a, there's a cross-reference there, <laughs> enabling. <laughs> so, so back to today. I mean, it's a beautiful day, yeah. it is. right? Yeah. So it was. It was your first 50, and you kind of spoke about it. So just kind of break down the day you know you don't have to go yeah. mile one I yeah sure had to pee mile two I didn't <laughs> anymore but like well, how did your day go it was good uh, one of my friends from Montana came down with me and we started and ran pretty much the first 16 together right on. Um, yeah and then her her pace is a little quicker so I let her go and um, was solo for a while and so I turned on the tunes and just just rolled with it, right? Just rolled with it, yeah. That's fun. Debbie warned me of for that out and back mm. on the oh, other yeah. side of the island. Mm-hmm. She's like, this is the worst part. And that kind of sucks when someone tells you that. Because then you're like, <laughs> you're, expecting you're just it, doomed. Right? Like, this is going to suck, you know? Positive Debbie, that's what we say. <laughs> and it wasn't great. That out and back sucked. But um, whatever. It was fine. It, it wasn't super bad, you know, really hard. But um, came back and then did this, the last little loop around here. Right. 
Um, I'm glad that we didn't have to come down through the finish because I don't know if I would have left. <laughs> you know how you do. Yeah, you right. come back. I'm done. Yeah, but seriously, I was feeling really good in about mile, I don't even know what mile, towards the end, I just thought the hardest part for me right now is eating. I just, okay. my legs are good. My feet hurt a little bit, but I just don't want to eat anything else. Okay. That's where I'm really struggling. So what did you eat during yeah, the first part of the race? Yeah, what was your nutrition um, plan? I had Electrophys. What's that? Is that the hammer the, drill? The hammer. Okay. Yeah. They're little okay. tablets, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. Which are made in Montana, by the way. Yep. Are they? Whitefish. White White I've been fish. there. Yep. I've been to see the grizzlies. Yeah. <laughs> so I had those um, mixed with a little tailwind at times. Gels, waffles, <laughs> energy waffles? stingers. Yeah. Like the... Uh, oh, the little honey stingers. Yeah, the honey stingers. Okay, those yeah. are good. Those are good. I You're making maybe it sound like I'm having <laughs> like a <laughs> Like an ego. Like an ego in your backpack. Then I busted out a crepe with Nutella and banana. That would have been good. That'd be good right now. <laughs> so you kind of stuck to the, the traditional yeah. ultra fuel. Yeah, and I was stopping at the aid stations and just grabbing whatever, whatever sounded good. But uh, potatoes, sandwich, like a grilled cheese, a hot dog. Oh, now we're talking <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, a hot dog? A hot dog. Where did you, grab a you hot get that dog? from? Did they you go to Maverick real quick? No. <laughs> they had did they have a food truck I missed? Because <laughs> yeah. this guy doesn't miss food trucks, <laughs> right? <laughs> I just hate chewing, oh, like food that you have to chew a lot. <laughs> so I grabbed a hot dog. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, well, I'm never going to. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, I just, whatever I could. But after a while, you just the food that you have to chew the most sucks, you know? Yeah. So, but it's all good. And so your nutrition, you never, did you hit any low points for nutrition-wise? Did you ever have, like, stomach problems with that hot dog, that Bahama Mama? <laughs> that Bahama I mean, <laughs> Mama. <laughs> I mean, did your stomach hold up? I mean. Um, yeah, for the most part. I had to do a pit stop, but, um, yeah. Pretty good. No main problems. I don't have a sensitive stomach. You know, some people say, oh, I can't have right. this product or this product. It really bugs my stomach. I don't have any issues. She's got so. the iron gut. She does. Iron That's gut. a good that trait to have in this sport. Yeah. For sure. It really is. Yeah, you're pretty much going to sign up for 100 right now. <laughs> yeah. Here's the here, here's the laptop. <laughs> yep. Just log in. Just log in. <laughs> um, so your finish time was 11 and change. Yeah. Um, is that, did you have like an idea in your mind of what you thought you might do, what you wanted to do, or did you just kind of say, I just want to finish? Yeah, I just wanted to finish. I didn't want to hit any of those low points where you just break down and, and want to quit. Uh, I wanted to finish within the cutoff time. So check, I'm just happy. Check and check. Yeah. Right. So did you have like w considered a low spot, like a spot that was just like, oh, this is... Whatever. I mean, yeah. Is, is there this like a sucks. low spot that you really had to battle? I don't want to run again. Yeah, yeah like ever. at mile 15. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I know. <laughs> like my legs are heavy and I'm pissed. That's, that's like that's like right, right there, here, basically, I know. right? I know. That's at the start finish almost. I yeah, mean, start close. finish is like 20 for the 50 milers. It's a good oh, thing yeah, I pushed through, huh? Yeah, right. That was a solid push. <laughs> and you're still with your friend at that time, because right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you express that? Did you do no, some? No, we rah -rah? were doing pretty good. Um, the hill parts. On this side of the island, we cruised on the downhills, which was kind of nice. The ups were just, you know, lighting my calves on fire. So that's where my legs were just feeling tired. Um, it was nice because she and I actually met up again after the Lower Frary mm -hmm. checkpoint, I think it's called. Right. And we ran a little bit together, and we did, like, intervals, you know, run five, power power hike two right. minutes. So that was nice just to have something else to focus on. And then when my um, GPS died, I just, <laughs> she started going, and then I just started going with songs. I'm like, I'll run Ooh, two songs, walk one, That's and then smart. if I was feeling good, I did three or four. And so that kind of helped me. Just the interval is good for me. Just, right. okay, just get through the next five minutes or the next 10 minutes or whatever it is. So. Well, you look great. I mean, when people Thanks. come across, sometimes they're like, they're trashed. They're trashed. Yeah. They don't want to even, I mean, I've done it here. I mean, yeah. I've actually laid down in the back of my car in the <laughs> hatchback before <laughs> at this race. But you look, I mean, you look, I mean, you're chipper. Obviously, you're you giggling. Are. You're having fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did you, is that, were you expecting something like that? Or did you, when you finished, did you go through a period of, oh my hell, this is, this is ridiculous. You know, my longest training run for this race was 30 miles. And that was tough. And in Montana, in Great Falls especially, we have a lot of wind. Right. So when you're outside, you just pray for that it's not super windy. And that 30 miles was a really rough run. So I was kind of thinking after that point, I didn't know what, was, what to expect. What's going to happen? Am I going to hit that low point where I'm like, screw it. I'm done. Yeah. You know? Because I can talk myself out of something real quick if I just thought, think, you know, I don't even want to finish. So I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to stop right here. Right. But, you know, once you're going and the adrenaline and... 
meeting up with her w with my friend again was really nice even though we didn't finish together we ran for quite a bit together again so just nice I like having people with me yeah. I don't do well on my own mm -hmm. um, so it's interesting that I was on my own so much at this race and that I was fine oh, well, there you good. go that's yeah. a break that's a breakthrough right, right. Here on the Dr. Joel Mental show <laughs> it's a breakthrough <laughs> it is <laughs> <laughs> so what do you have you, you know you signed up for this the enablers helped you right is there anything else you have list like going forward this year's any races you signed up for I'm not signed up for anything um I'm just kind of I wanted to see how this went yeah I would like to get a couple more 50s under my belt I'd right. like to do maybe the 100k okay. distance I think that's a next a good next so step I got up. one I got a recommendation oh, yeah this is a good yeah. recommendation Let's hear well it. no the beaver head that, that's interesting you say that the the couple the married couple I train with they're she's doing the beaver head is she so uh -huh. I I'm debating to do the beaver head. You should do it. Yeah, Don't maybe debate, I will. Just do. It's July 9th. July are you guys going to be there? I am. Joel's going to be there. You are? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Maybe I should. You should. And yeah, you should do the beaver head. It's 100K. It yeah. looks like an amazing course, it just is. the yeah. fly by. You, you get up on that Continental Divide and yeah. just run on that for 62 miles, which yeah. is amazing. That's, ama that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Right? So that's a good next one. Cool. Well, yeah. I won't say next one because you might want to do one before that just because, yeah. hey, let's do some more. Because I'm, I'm, I'm already fit, trained up, I'm right? trained up for it. <laughs> right. Is there a lot of, like, in your neck of the woods, is there a lot of, like, trail stuff? Is it road stuff? Is there not a lot of stuff? I mean, what have you seen there? You know, there? the running community uh, isn't as strong as it is here. Mm -hmm. And I, I always tell Debbie I'm so jealous of that because she's got, you know, her running group she's with. And we've got some people. Um, I'm in a group, RWB. You RWB. guys familiar with yeah, RWB? the red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Yeah. Um, and so we do some running events. And. And those are great, but um, it's just not as active as it is okay. here. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one thing I really wish we had more of, more trail runners, more people just wanting to get out and go. Well, you can be the pioneer. There you go. Well, I, <laughs> you I could be. Now I'm a seasoned ultra You're seasoned. runner, right? Yeah, you, I mean, you've come to the great Wasatch Range. Right. right. You've uh, been you've in the your tutelage you, you got your of the Farkas. Wet. Yeah. You know, the right. Fark has been tutoring you, so <laughs> you're ready. I mean, you know, is that you're ready. word? Tutoring? <laughs> Yeah, tutoring, tutor, tutor, <laughs> you're tutoring. Good, you're good. Yeah. They're tutoring you. You have, you're, you're fine. I nailed it. Just, yeah. just keep rolling. Sorry, I, I'm half delirious. You know how it goes. Okay, so sorry. We. Just, yeah, yeah, we're too. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Start your own, because that's what happened really here. Yeah. Is we've, we've got a few running groups in the area, and it's just, they just kind of blossom. Right. You know, you get a mm -hmm. couple people that join in, and then a few more people, yeah. and a few more people. Next and thing you know, you've got this really good community of people. Yeah, that it's all about the community. With. Yeah. Yeah, especially with this sport. I mean, you know, what we have here is pretty special you yeah. come to a race like this and there's like you know 800 people or 750 people and there's hundreds that you know first names right right yeah um, because of that and it makes a big difference so cool you know it does make a big difference so between now um and beaverhead yeah. what's your training gonna be like <laughs> you're committed now right right. i think right. we just registered just so <laughs> we're good just register me. Yeah. yeah so it's um, 100k what how would your training change going forward for say 100k what from a, what you've learned that's here? that's a good question i don't know if it would change much um like i said this couple that i run with back home they're really they're seasoned ultra runners and right. so i take a lot of advice from them and Perfect. we follow the same running plans and they're just awesome it's so great to have right. you know that community and it's it's great because they're they're not so elite you know we've got some runners in the community that they you can't even run with them you yeah, know right. you start the they're run so and they're off and it's right. like well that's this sucks yeah. this isn't you know it's cool <laughs> that was neat said hi yeah, at the parking lot yeah. see you later <laughs> have a good day yeah so it's just great because they've been a really great resource and so yeah i don't know how much it would change i do some cross training i work at a gym and so i'm able to teach classes and and stuff and stay well cross trained but um i'm gonna take a week or so off from running <laughs> Is that allowed? How, how long are you well, supposed to so take off? So we, we talked about this yeah, earlier. earlier. It's a active ahead. recovery. Right. So and you since you work at a gym, you probably know. So we've talked about this, and I 100% agree with this, by the way. Yeah. Because I've done this before. I've ran a 50-mile squat peak, and I took like two weeks off. Yeah. My next run was like 10 feet. Yeah. Even after two weeks, because right. I was so jacked up. Yeah. So the active recovery is just like you don't have to do anything big or major or quick. It's just getting on your feet, getting that blood moving, right. yeah. just working it through. Even though it's going to be a little stiff or yeah. difficult. Right. Even like tomorrow, I go and taking like a little walk, and then on Monday, getting on the spin bike or yeah. your regular bike and just ride for a little bit, yeah. nice and easy. And then by the end of the week, you progress to the point where you're you're walking and then doing easy runs. Yeah. So that way, every day you're at least moving your body, and that just that helps kind of alleviate the inflammation because that's what's really going on. Yeah. Clear it, clear out all the gunky. Well, gunk. yeah. yeah, I mean, most of the gunk's really cleared out right away because. 
mean, if we look at it from a physiological standpoint, it your body's not going to let that stuff accumulate because it's poison, it's toxin, and your body comes back to that homeostasis really quickly, right? It's the inflammation that causes that discomfort and that pain, that soreness. So you're trying to get that moved out of your system. Yeah. And if you're moving, then you're going to have, it's think of it like a pump, right? So the muscles act like a pump. So they're pumping out that extra fluid that's built up from the, the, the immune system being activated is what's really happening. So the more you move, the more likely it is that you're going to get the excess fluid off of the tissues at that point. So like the lactic acid buildup type thing, no. is that what they talk about? Is so that that, different? that's a myth. That's a myth? Yeah, it really is a myth. So, I mean, if we really want to get into this deep biochemistry discussion, we can so I'm good with the myth. Okay. I'm <laughs> <laughs> really not sure I'm ready to talk about this right now after about five beers. But, oh the, you know, so if you build up a high level of lactic acid, it is actually broken down into something called the Cori cycle. And this is like we're talking micro level chemistry here. You're smarty pants, right? He well, is. I'm an exercise physiologist, go. right? <laughs> so, well, that's one of the things I do. And the other thing is I'm a web designer as well. So I wear a couple different hats. And a smarty pants. Yeah, and smarty <laughs> pants. So, yeah, that's that's a total myth. Um, it's broken down. It, it's it's recreated into this, this energy source pretty quickly, right? Because think about this. I mean, your body's not going to let something that's toxic hang around for a long period of time unless it's stored in the fat. And that's another discussion we can go into. Is that why you have to pee a lot when you drink beer? That's Do you have to pee right now? Is that what you're trying no, to say? No, we, no. We both, we, I mean, we're both older, so we went ahead and we took our <laughs> leak before the podcast, right? So our bases are covered on that. We're good. Yeah. So anyway, so let's just make this short and sweet. Move after the race, all right? Active That's recovery. Some, yes, active recovery. <laughs> I told you I could have went without the thing because I've heard the lactic acid buildup. It's a, a lot. I've myth. used it a lot. I was going to use it tomorrow. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to air this show late. Yeah. <laughs> so I can get after it later. Okay, so back on back topic on point. a little bit. Back, back on point. That's great. Right. Um, when do you go back to Montana? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. So, yeah. I, you know, early? Well, not probably not early. Okay, Just and the, so that'd probably be good before you take that long drive yeah. to get up. Go walk. Just we'll take yeah. a nice walk. Are you walk. staying with the Farkas? I'm not. Okay. Staying That's with your parents? The in-laws. In-laws? Yeah. So go for a walk before him. Yeah. Right? And then once uh, you get, if you guys stop between here and there, yeah. get out and walk for a little bit. Yeah. You know the story. Yeah, because that's a, how long a drive is that? Eight and a half, nine oh hours. Oh, my gosh. That's a long drive. That's right? Yeah, yeah so you're going yeah. to want to do some active recovery yeah. beforehand yeah. and maybe save halfway through, get yeah. out at the gas station, stop, yeah. do a couple laps. <laughs> go run a mile down the road. There have you your go. husband come pick you up. <laughs> pick me, I'll be right down here at the yeah. entrance. Uh, Just do some like yoga yeah. at the Travel Plaza. Perfect. Downward dog. Yep. <laughs> I know that one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. So if uh, you had to do today over, knowing you? what you know now, yeah. Okay. what would change? It's interesting because I was – didn't know how to pace myself, really. You know, uh, my mentors back home, they're like, go out really slow, like really slow, slower mm -hmm. than you think you need to. And I didn't listen, of course. And right. so I'm like, oh, I'm flying. I'm doing great. <laughs> you shouldn't and then listen I'm to thinking, a mentor anyway, like, right? How that's going to affect later on in the run. And it, right. it was okay. I felt really great even near the end of the race. And um, so I don't think I'd change that. I think that because I did that, that was different than I had been training. Mm -hmm. Right. You know? Um, so I liked that strategy. She said, well, maybe if you go out fast, maybe you'll be just as tired later as you would if you went out slow. So right. maybe it works for you to just go out faster. And so that was good to try that. Um, I tried gaiters for the first time today. It's not good to s try equipment on your first day, but th they were fine. They um, did okay. You're still wearing them, by yeah, the way. Yeah, still wearing them. I need still to rocking the flops. gaiters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rocking the gaiters. <laughs> yeah. So I, like I said, today just went really well. I'm I'm very happy with the outcome and my performance and just can't wait to do another so one. So you really wouldn't change much then the overall No, today. I don't think so. Okay. All right. So yeah. you've done two now, right? Yeah. You did Skyline 50K, yeah. which is a hard race. That's you've a hard done race. It's an it awesome is. race. It is. Beautiful Great course. course. Yeah, that and was good. you've done this, the Buffalo 50 miler. Yeah. Are you hooked? Yeah. 
for, for sure. Did, did you hear the hesitation in the voice? Yeah. No, I yeah. love it. <laughs> I know you're right I on just, that. It pisses me off when people, oh, you're crazy. Oh, I, I can't even drive that. You know how people. Oh, yeah. That's, that's the Say worst that's one, stupid. I think. Right? I hate Out that. Out of all the, all the things when people talk all about it is when yeah. they say, I can't even drive that far. Yeah. yeah. That's To me, that's the worst one. So and if you're out there. A nice character on the voice there. Like a, I can't even drive that far. I can't even drive that far. <laughs> right? So I do not like that one yeah. out of all of them. I'd that's rather the someone say. That's one that gets say, your goat, right? Yeah. I'd rather someone say, why? Well, that's stupid. Yeah. You know, something. But I can't even drive that far. That's the yeah. worst one of all time. Because you know what? Yeah, you can. Yeah. And you probably have. Yep. Right? Yeah. You probably did it on the way to work. Yeah, yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you did that today. Yeah. You know? But, so. you know, I've talked to this to some of my friends about this. Just say, good for you. Great yeah, job. Right. You exactly. Know, don't be ignorant and say stupid things. And so that's just one of those things. Well, that I think that's on their part. They just don't know, yeah, right? And they just don't I mean, get it. We, I mean, we shouldn't sound like elitist, but we just, we know, right? Yeah. We've been out there. We've been through it. And it's pretty cool to do something like this well it's great when you talk you know we've had great guests on the show i mean talking to you this is your first 50 we had jackie uh king on the show it was her first 50 so it's really neat to see when people do it because realistically more people could do this than think they can they it's really just can. it's just it is that there's a fear thing it's well, i'm not a runner don't come out here right? folks. yeah i mean that's that's just kind of what it is yeah you know and realistically you can do this right right i mean not everybody you okay, gotta put the effort into it and you have to have that free time to do it and you gotta have that will and we've talked about it. You got to do it for the right reason. Yeah. You yeah. can't do it because your best friend did it, no. or your neighbor did well, it, or I did it the Kardashians did it. Did it. Well, well yeah, you're, you're, we've, we've covered this. So your yeah. best friend's an enabler, yes. and that's <laughs> different than having a friend. So that's that's totally different. But I yeah. mean, realistically, it's it's preparation, your mindset, and how and re- how you get there. Yeah. And that's with anything in life. Yeah, so that's we just had someone come by and they're not in good shape. And no, he's like sunburned to the nth degree. <laughs> yeah. He's been out there for but the last twelve. But his mullet is awesome. Oh it, yeah, you know he, you know what's you awesome? Go there, didn't you? He's, I'm sorry. That guy is awesome. Okay, his name's Josh Bryant, and he was my daughter's soccer coach for a little while. Oh yeah, cool. Now let me tell you a story about him real quick because he's standing right. He ran the whole length of Utah from like the bottom near St. George to oh the gosh. top of Utah straight. <laughs> you really? He did. And he pushed a, a stroller to carry his goods. Oh and he got pulled gosh. over by the police much of times because they thought he had a child in there like in the <laughs> middle of the night. <laughs> right? I mean, that's insane. Like he's. He's looking like a hurting puppy. He right does. Now. He's got sunburn. Josh, wish you well, man. But uh, like yeah, he's third a, degree sunburn. Yeah, right he's there, a cool buddy. guy. I really that like him. That mullet is like awesome, Billy right? Ray's it's Irish so good. cool. We're, just, we're used to seeing that in Montana, you know? You're so like, hey, I know that. Oh, wait. That's not my. That was my neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, that's the guy that bre- that's the guy that brewed the beer. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> that's my mailman and my tow truck driver. <laughs> no, we're not what I say now. I love Montana personally. I do. I really <laughs> you do. Donald Trump now? Huh? <laughs> you Donald Trump? No, now? I just love Montana. I love Montana <laughs> people here love me. <laughs> I didn't say they loved me. That's not always true, by the way. I <laughs> love Montana. My first real dog came from Montana. I've been to Whitefish. Montana's great. I love Montana. Yeah, yeah I've fished the Beaverhead River. Right, I'm, I'm, I know Montana. Don't get me started on Montana. You guys want to go right now? Hold on. <laughs> Dig in your hole. I'm putting my phone down. <laughs> Dig your hole, buddy. down. So you'll do. Are you going to come back to Antelope ever again? Um, I don't know if I do the same race again. There may be some that are in Montana or closer, you right. know, Idaho, whatever that I'd probably try. Before you come back. Yeah, here. before I come back here. So. Do you like Debbie still after making you come course, down here yeah. and do this? She's awesome. <laughs> she gave me a good hustle along the road, and she smacked my ass really hard. Can I say that? The yeah. sign of a good friend. That yeah. Lane does that to me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I do it back. No, so it was yeah, great. it was great to have her out there cheering me on. Right on. That's and cool. And and you had a great community come down too because you were with a bunch of people here yeah. right before you came on yeah. the show, so you had a community come down with you, and that's always nice, that's right? That's what it's all about. Yeah. Has your other friend come across yet? Nope. It's, I don't. Is it? Is it's it game time? Hour, right? Is it game yeah, time? Yeah. What time is it? Is it? it is uh, six thirty. Mm, our time. I think that's done. I think everybody's timed out. Yep. Now. Look, oh. they took the flag thing down. Oh. Well, I think yeah. it's. I think it's. It's. Dang it's, it. it's over now. So but grinding it out like that. That's all. Aw- and you know that's what? Awesome. Yeah. Here comes somebody. Oh, that's awesome. These are okay. RWBers. RWBers, yep. and they yeah. are carrying it's an American, American flag. Really cool. Awesome. Nice job. I mean, this is. This is a tough get at. That's you know, hundred mile runner, uh, fifty mile runner. It's fifty k runners. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's a tough day. It's a beautiful day out here. Yep. 
So we want to thank you. Thank, thank you. you guys for, for having coming me. on the show. Thanks it's it's a pleasure to meet you, by the way. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. And welcome to the uh, Ultra Running Sickness Club. Yeah. Yeah. I should just start an extension group in, in Montana. There you go. That, and you better start <laughs> saving up, too. <laughs> 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 Those race fees are crazy. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. they're going. So again, thanks for coming yeah, by. For having we you really guys. appreciate. It. Thanks for bringing by, and we're gonna give a shout out because yeah. this is tasty to Mountain the Man. Front Brewing Company, yep. the Mountain Man Scotch Ale with the dude on the front. The dude. And I'm telling you what, folks, this is the coolest pop top can ever. I'm gonna rinse it out and I'm gonna keep it for my. You probably have these like in Montana. People use these for their dinnerware, right? <laughs> Totally. That's all we have. I I'm just know. kidding. I love Montana. Can I tell you one more thing about yes. this, um, the Front Brewing Company? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. such a weird, bill. it's really cool and um, like new and it just, it looks great. But like half of the, the facility is this brewing company. Uh-huh. There's a bar, you can get drinks. The other half is a coffee house. Oh, so that's awesome. you can get crepes. Awesome. You were talking about crepes. I earlier. love crepes, oh. man. I love and crepes. Coffee. I'm so you crepes. go I love in coffee and at I love 5.30 beer. in the morning and yeah. get crepe. Maybe a shot of whiskey. And at eight fifteen, you can go get a beer. Yeah. yeah. After be after eight o'clock. <laughs> after eight. <laughs> Do you know if they're hiring? <laughs> I think they are. I'll put in a good word for it. Put you. in a good word for. Them. I'm a good guy. <laughs> and, Thanks, and, you guys. And future employable. <laughs> That's right. Thanks, Candice, for that. Yeah. Thanks. And so, yeah. Thanks, Amy. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Thank Such you. an awesome accomplishment. Thank you. Make sh- be super proud of what you've done. Yeah. I mean, you know, you talk about Debbie being a positive role model or inspirational, but you don't realize you're that way to a lot of people too especially after today not that you weren't before but now people when you go back they're going to say when you get back they're going to be like i can't even drive that far right (laughs) so congratulations be proud thank you that's awesome what you did today it's a huge accomplishment so (laughs) we're signing out this is probably our last show today i think so we've got in a solid four uh we're gonna go sleep it off and we'll talk to you later thank you for listening to the trail manners podcast like to thank Amy Musgrove for joining us today after the race and congratulate her on her first 50 mile finish and we look forward to seeing what else she pulls off here in the near future we also like to encourage you to follow us on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Trail Manners or you can swing by our website at trailmanners.com once you're there don't be afraid go ahead and pick up some gear we got hats and shirts and stickers to represent the Trail Manners nation so until next time this is Eric Manning with Joel Hatch reminding you You don't get what you wish for, you get what you work for. Now go get it.